Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Come Cook With Me show. My name is Laura Hall, and I hope I'm not at all crooked. I just noticed one of the legs on the camera was kind of on a tilt, so if we're on a slight tilt, I so apologize. There's nothing I can do about it at this point in time, so I'll look forward to seeing the comments that you all have. So, I just want to say welcome to the Come Cook With Me show. My name is Laura Hall, and we are broadcasting live in my home in Daphne, Alabama. So today we are going to continue to make some wonderful vegetable sides and it's one of our absolute favorite sides to have and it's artichokes. And I don't know, tell me, how many of you out there um, love, love, love having steamed artichokes that are just like so full of flavor and oh my gosh, when you get to the heart of the artichoke, just peeling away that little fuzzy part and then cutting it up and dipping it into whatever sauce you just put it into. I mean, oh my God, so yummy. So today we're gonna to show you how to do it. We've got the slow cooker. It has about, um, oh, probably two more hours left on the slow cooker, but I'll show you where they are in process. And then we're gonna do a vegetarian, completely vegan style. We're gonna do that in the Instant Pot and in the meal tea pot, we're gonna do traditional, just like what we did in the slow cooker back there. So we've been getting everything prepared and ready to go. So in order to uh, get the show started, I guess I better hit saute feature on the pots here. So let me go ahead and do that. So what, one of the things that we love, love, love to do, let's see, uh, I wanna get saute. Hold on one second. We always love to say hi, who we are, where we're from. That's just one of the things we love to do in this community. So I'm gonna hit start there and hit saute over here on this one. And they're getting, they're getting hot. So say hello, who you are, where you're from. We've been broadcasting for almost two years um, having broadcast live shows. Those are just the pots telling us they're getting heated, they're getting hot. And so what you wanna do is as they're getting hot, we're gonna go ahead and put in some extra virgin olive oil. I love this particular one that I found at the store the last time we were on the show um, because I love the fact that it's a first press. So I'm gonna show you, um, but more than anything we're looking for um, non-GMO, we're looking for organic and a cold press, and that's what I found here. This is really a wonderful, wonderful olive oil. So we're gonna coat the bottom of our pots. And while that's heating up, what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be, this is the quickest recipe, probably just as quick as it was uh, last week when we did the um, stewed tomatoes. And how many of you tried those? Oh my God. So good, and we'll be using those stewed tomatoes. Um, you know, that I, I we froze most of it, and actually, that evening we made a really beautiful sauce. I can't remember if I posted the picture of it or not. Um, let me just grab a couple of pots so we can show you what the artichokes look like in the slow cooker. Oh, they're looking really great. Uh, just show them here. So you can see we have them on the steamer rack, so they're really going to be steamed. You can see the steam kind of coming off. So yummy. It smells delicious. I'm going to put that top back on. So in the slow cooker, these artichokes will steam on slow. Uh, they'll be for three to four hours. And many of you are wondering, okay, where's the recipe? Well, as soon as the show is over, one of the things that Mevo doesn't let you do is go ahead and uh, post the recipe actually before you start to film. So as soon as the show is over, we'll be actually posting the recipe there. And if you've missed a recipe or missed a show, you can always hop over to uh, Lifestyle by Laura J on my YouTube channel and you can catch any of the previous shows that we've had. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started. What we've got is we've got a uh, shallot. Well, actually, these were two large sh shallots. If you have smaller ones, you'll wanna do two small ones. But they're sharp shallots and they're just diced up, organic. And pop those in. And we're gonna also pop in some roasted garlic. Earlier today, I roasted some garlic. And I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in it. And I've got the extra remaining because this is gonna go with dinner tonight. So this is a great side to have with so many meals. Um, and I just love having different dishes to have side, um, you know, wonderful vegetable sides to go with your dishes. So tonight we're actually going to be making some wonderful shrimp pasta, which is a recipe that's out there on the YouTube channel. So if you think that's what you want to have with dinner tonight, 
feel free to do that. Oh my goodness, this is going to go so fast. So you're not going to want to overstock me this. But we're going to go ahead and add in our herbs. So I've got three to four sprigs of thyme and one large sprig of um, rosemary. But I was going to show you a trick. I don't think I did this last week. Whenever you have a sprig of anything and you want to get the little baby leaves off without just having to pick them, all you have to do is hold the top and watch. You just slide down the reverse angle of the, of the, of the, um, st kind of the stalk, and then you end up pinching all of those wonderful herbs right there. And then you can just take the top two off. And then you have a very clean, clean spread. So, I love doing that. Okay. Love sharing neat tricks like that. So, this is super hot, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel so it just turns off. Um, because we don't want to overdo the, the salad and the garlic. Oh, that's just great. It's so quick. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Oh my goodness. There's nothing better than having roasted garlic. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in our additional spices. We have some Mediterranean spiced sea salt. And I love this one. Again, it's organic and it's non-GMO. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful spice. And I like, you know, when you do artichokes, you can come up with any kind of a uh, flavoring. But I, you know, it's just wonderful uh, of the varieties that you can do. But since we're kind of doing a little bit of a tie-in, we're going to keep them more on the Mediterranean side. And then I have some um, oregano. And we have some cumin. We love cumin in our house. You'll know, I don't think I have a recipe that, it's a very, it's very far and few between that. I don't have a recipe that doesn't have cumin in it. And that's so super hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put in just a little bit of bone broth so it doesn't stick and burn. Oops, almost did the bone broth in the, in the, in the vegan one. That would have ruined that. <laughs> Just gonna put a, just a slight bit in there. There we go. Before we actually, what I like to do is I like to pour the broth over on top of the artichokes. Yeah, the, the milky pot, you'll notice, if you have both the Instapot or the milky pot, the milky pot definitely, it just heats up, it's an intense heat right away, right off the bat, whereas the Instapot, usually it just takes a little bit longer to, to get heated. All right, so now we want to get our trays, our little racks. Um, I'm actually, I actually only had one of these, so um, I'm using an egg rack, which is fine. It's not, it's not going to be sitting too high up. And you want to put your, place your racks in so that you can put your um, artichokes on top. And I've already washed these, but you want to make sure you wash them really well. And you're going to cut off about an inch off the bottom because they have these long stalks. Um, and then about, you trim them up on the top, about a half an inch. Um, and then you're just going to sip them in, in your pot. And it's okay if some of the leaves, if the outer leaves fall off, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's the outer leaves you're not going to eat that many of anyway. And you're going to take two cups of your broth. So um, what I've got here is I've got a bone broth. I love this particular bone broth. Um, because it's very low salt, it's organic, it's non-GMO. It's just a wonderful, wonderful bone broth. I absolutely love it. Um, but you know, any bone broth that you like is great. And we're going to do two cups of the bone broth for the traditional style. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and pour them right over the artichokes. Kind of try to get right in between those leaves. Let them just fill up. So yummy. It makes the bottom of the leaf very meaty so that when you start to eat the, the entire leaves. And I, we love to eat the leaves just as much as we love to do the, um, the hearts. I'm just going to get another pot because that was usually I start with the, the vegetable broth. So then we have, for the, for the vegan vegetarian, we have organic vegetable broth. And again, Pacific is one of my favorite ones to use. And we're gonna do two cups of this as well. 
That's really the only difference between these two recipes is which broth you end up using. Now I'll tell you, this is just such a dynamic flavor. I feel that the stewed tomatoes last week in the, in the vegan vegetarian style were so good with the vegetable broth. There's just something about this broth that just brings food to life. I just love it. Uh, so good. I know a lot of you are traveling. I heard from a few of you that some of you are escaping vacation. Um, Brenda, you're not the only one um, going on vacation. There were a couple other people who said, uh, we're getting out of Dodge. They were hoping to catch their flights before the snow came in. Um, much of the nation, I know you all are under some pretty, pretty crazy weather. Um, so I can appreciate that. But I gotta tell you, look, we are at the end of the show. This is it, that's the recipe, it's so simple. But there are a few things that I'm gonna talk about now before we actually finish the show because there's a few things that we like to do. This is a choice, you can either squeeze your fresh lime ju lemon juice right on top right now, which is what I'm going to do, or you can save it or do a little bit of both. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze the juice out of one. And if the seeds, just put the seeds that fall off into the, just put them off into the broth. So I'm gonna save some of the juice in this. And we're also gonna grate the artichokes when we plate them. We're gonna grate them with some fresh uh, grated zest, the lemon zest. So it'll just be just perfect for when you serve them. Okay, so we have, a, there's a little bit of juice left in, in these lemons. And what we're gonna do is when we serve and plate, and I'll take a lot of pictures so you can see, we're gonna take the zester and we're just gonna zest over, when we serve them, we're gonna zest over the leaves. And we're also going to use some, for the traditional, um, or for the vegetarian and vegan, we have some Parmesan um, dairy-free shreds, Parmesan shreds. This is just one that I typically will buy. And in addition to that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this broth, and I'll, since I'll take some pictures, we're gonna take the broth, just the pure broth, add a, uh, about, I think I, the recipe I, I called for a, a quarter of a cup, but we'll just see what comes out when, when they're done. I'm gonna add some of the broth to melted butter, and this is not a butter, this is a soy-free uh, buttery spread. Um, it's earth balanced, but I love it because it's non-GMO and it's vegan, so it's a great buttery spread. So we'll do that in a little saucepan with some of the broth. And that'll be your dipping where you dip, you'll you take your leaves and you'll dip them and then you can eat the leaves, the bottom portion of the leaves, so, so good. And for the traditional style, I have clarified butter that I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll take um, a few, a quarter cup of the broth um, and we'll get some of those great yummy garlic cloves in there and melt some of the um, clarified butter and then we'll also, for the traditional, I've already got some Asiago. I've got some Asiago cheese that I've gone ahead and grated. And so we'll just, just dust the top of them when we actually serve them. So you'll look forward to seeing that when, when, the, when, um, when we actually eat. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pot, pot sauce. And what you're gonna do is you will set the timer You'll do manual timer. I, I like to do between eight, depending on how large your artichokes are, you're gonna go between eight to 10 minutes. Um, and then you'll do a quick release as well, a quick release of steam. But because we're so early and on time, we're not gonna actually hit the go button yet because, um, well, it's not quite dinner time here and heck, Brad isn't even home yet. so. I'm gonna, well, while these are um, ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the rest of the meal for us tonight. And um, just hope that everyone has a, has an ability to stay warm, get home safely. If you're getting out of town because you're going on a, a wonderful vacation, I'm so jealous and I'm so happy for you. Um, so enjoy and I hope you get out safely. So that's the rest of the show but i do want to share with you a couple of things um, and i should have started off the show this way to say hey hang on to um, a health tip and i'm going to actually do another video on this because i think it's so important 
So, you know, many of you who have followed me for a long time, you know that I'm a health coach and I help people get into a beautiful, healthy lifestyle and just create a, um, a you know, an awesome, awesome body as a result. And I teach you how to cook. But one of the things that I, I heard my girlfriend tell me, she told me this at least a half a year, if not earlier, than more, more time than that. She said, you know, Laura, we've been doing our program for she's been doing it for five years. I'm closing in on five years in March. And she said, you know, you really have to go back. We feel so amazing, but you need to go back and get your blood panels done. And because I'm hypothyroid, I feel like I'm always doing that anyway. But what I didn't do is really take and heed her advice. And this is a really important piece of information, a very important tip. So you know, next week, next Friday, I turn 55. So I felt I need to listen to Terry and take her advice. Well, guess what I found out? I went in and had my entire hormone panel taken a look at, in addition to all the other health pieces that you know you would look at to, just to see where you are as far as your health and your blood, full blood panel, basically. And what I found out was is that in my body, I had zero estrogen going on, I had zero testosterone and zero progestin. Now, that's pretty alarming because the only active hormone that was functioning in my body is my hypothyroid, which is not always functioning the best because I'm always on medicine for that and have been for the last 24, yeah, 24 years. So, what I share with you is that that is an incredible thing. It, it, I mean, it was just one of those jaw-dropping moments for me. And I didn't have anything, you know, I'm really a happy person. I live my life in gratitude, which if you follow my post, you know that I do. But the other thing is, is that I have lived very well, almost five full years of putting this great nutrition, doing nutritional cleansing in my body. And so all of that greatness that I've been putting in, it's been masked because I felt so great. But what I'm sharing with you is that any woman, anybody who's on my team, any man who's on my team, it's so important to get this blood work done. Do it, find somebody. I found a wonderful person. She does Zoom and it's just video conferencing. It's a video, video chat where she can share her screen. I found she, it's an excellent doctor in Jacksonville and she is a miracle worker. And I'm not even, I'm not even sure um, how great I'm going to feel because I know I just started my medicine, my hormone replacement therapy. And I'm just, I'm just so excited that I, I realized that I can even feel even better than I, I already feel like I'm a unicorn dancing in a rainbow, but it's like, my God, I'm gonna even feel more amazing. But the moral is, if you haven't had your blood work done, please, 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 if you want a reference to um, the, the doctor that I'm using in Jacksonville, she does, she does remote, to just anyone around the world, I guess. I'm not even positive, wherever she can write scripts to. So I think anywhere in the US for sure. North America and Canada, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not positive. I have to ask her, but I'll actually put that on another post because I'm gonna do some lives about it on my coaching page and also just on my Facebook wall because I think it's just so important. All right, that's my healthy tip of the day. I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. <laughs> The last time I cooked on my birthday was a Thursday, which reminds me, next Friday is our last Friday show. We're actually gonna be moving the show to a Thursday because there's so many things that are going on here um, in Fairhope and some of the new team members that are coming on board here. We're, we have quite a few plans to do some things on Friday. So we're moving the cooking show, kinda of wanted to mix it up and do some changes around it anyway. So after next week, so next Friday is our last Friday show, we're going to be actually making our cooking show on Thursday. So uh, we'll have a new time, um, hopefully right around 3.30 Central Standard Time, so that we can get everybody in the mix and everyone will be happy. But at least that's what we're, what we're, what we're going to be striving for. So I'm looking forward to cooking with you next week. We have a, a special guest, and I'm not going to let the secret out until next week but a very special guest coming on the show. So look forward to seeing us next Friday. I'm sharing 
so much joy, so much gratitude, and so much love with you. And if you do the same, you can hit a couple of hearts on our, on our video. And you can also hit that wonderful share button and share to your favorite page, share to other cooking pages that you belong to. Let's just spread the word, spread the joy of cooking, and let's share some recipes. All right, everyone have a beautiful and blessed weekend. Love to you all.